Oh, oh, oh boy. First and foremost, before we even get into it, I just want to send a big prayer over to brother Daryl Taylor on the Seattle Seahawks, brother. I hope you get well soon. That was a freak accident, freak injury, and I'm happy that we at least saw some movement in his lower extremities to where we can at least, you know, come to a, 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 a little bit of an assumption that he'll be okay. I really hope that that brother's going to be okay. We, Steeler Nation, we already dealt with Shazier. We've seen countless, and those of you who are old, Older football fans, you've seen countless individuals in which, you know, mess around and you have paralysis kind of happen. So I really hope that brother is okay. I hope there's nothing serious and you could play football again, but forget football. You could be with your family, the ability to be able to walk, things of that nature. That was very scary. I hope you're all right. Next, I want to give a huge kudos over to the Seattle Seahawks. What a way to fight. What a way to battle. What a way to come back. Unfortunately, your efforts came up short because the man we paid all that money to, Mr. T.J. White showcased his goddamn value you want to know what made this game it was our defensive line all right hi smith what hayward you three need all of the goddamn game balls all of the motherfucking game balls, okay? Because, God damn it, we done another game in which we forgot how to play football in a second half, all right? Last week, it was the fourth quarter against Denver. This week, it was the entirety of the second half against Seattle. I don't know what the hell we was doing. First half, we controlled time of possession. We was playing Pittsburgh Steelers football. All of a sudden, halftime came. Let's give the Hall of Fame rings to Troy Palomalu. Let's give one to Donnie Shell. Let's give one over to Bill Cowher. Let's give one to Alan Fanica. I guess the game's over, guys. The game's over. We've celebrated already. It's 60 minutes of football. And lo and behold, what happened? It ended up being a little bit longer. We played about 68 minutes of football because we had to go to overtime because Geno Smith started marching his team up and down the field. Alex Collins out there looking like the second coming of beast mode, running all the way up and down the field on us. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, what about the referees? The referees missing a ton of calls. The referees have been absolute garbage for the last half decade. Hell, the entire decade. It's been getting worse and worse, not only in Pittsburgh games, but across the league. So I don't want to hear anything about officials. The officials are garbage. Whether they call calls in your favor or they call calls against your team, the officials are garbage. And if you have ever had to put your team in a position to win and you need the help from the officials to do it, you don't deserve to get a W. You didn't earn a doggone W. But damn it, we was able to stay resilient and we walked away with the win. Why? Because like I stated earlier, TJ Watt showcased why he was, you know, he earned all that money that he messed around and got. I would hope that you're able to finish the doggone job, get yourself a defensive player of the year, because noting uh, the last two times that Pittsburgh had a defensive player of the year, we happen to go on to the Super Bowl. But we got a whole lot of work to do before we get there. Offensively, we still look piss poor. The play calling ass. The understanding and execution between receivers and quarterback still ass. Big Ben missed a lot of people tonight. Some passes was on him. Other passes was on the receivers not knowing their alignment, their their, their, their alignment, their, their, their doggone responsibility, what route they running. It's ridiculous. You got to know what your assignment is when you take the field. Why do we continue to go out there and look discombobulated? I don't understand. Defensively, we ain't making the splash plays that we did last year. We got to hope and pray that we mess around and, and, and force a turnover. It's ridiculous. Big Ben over here trying to pump left and right. Now, granted, it's his staple of his game. But my God, hold on to the football or don't pump at all. You're over here fumbling. We already know you don't get the same sort of credit that Tom Brady get with the doggone tuck rule. They took it out the damn rule book already. It's not going to work in your favor. You fumbled, brother. You fumbled. Offensive line, we was eh today. Last week, we looked great. This week, eh, we need to make some adjustments. Eric Ebron ran into the end zone. Lord knows he couldn't catch a pass in the end zone. And Ben nearly threw the game ceiling interception to Jamal Adams. But luckily, that brother's nowhere near a ball hawk. He's pretty much a glorified outside linebacker who just so happened to not have enough weight to play the position. And the ball hit him straight in the face. We escaped with a W here. We may have been able to, you know, close things out in overtime, but we escaped with a W. This is nothing to walk around and poke your chest out. OK, this ain't nothing to walk around and poke your chest out. You got back to back weeks. We ain't on the doggone L train. At least we can rest our head knowing that we ain't lose. We are now even 500 
in the division. And guess what? We only two games back. We only two games back. Baltimore sitting pretty at five and one. We already lost to Cincinnati. They're a game and a half ahead of us. They sitting at four and two, uh, a four and two. And then, of course, we even Steven with Cleveland right now, boss. But we ain't talking about that right now. One way or another, we've got to make sure we get ourselves together. It's us who keep putting us in this position. Again, for the sixth consecutive game. It ain't a situation in which we're getting completely dominated that we can't win these games. It's a flip of a coin in how we show up. We play effective football. We could have been 6-0. We ain't dominant like the Cardinals, but we could have won every game that we were in. It's just a matter of execution, gentlemen. Who wants it more, us or them? This is a good victory. We won, but my God, we had to skate uh, freaking down, down, down the wire for what? Against Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks? One of the worst defenses in the league. First time Pete Carroll don't got Russell Wilson since he drafted him and we had to win an OT. Come on, fellas. Come on. We got to play better, man. Come on, dog. Steelers on three. Win on six. One, two, three. Steelers. Four, five, six. Win. Come on, man. Next week, we got to come with it even better. First half was all right. Second half, not so much. Overtime. We did enough to win. T.J. Watt gets the game ball. Cameron Haywood, you get the game ball. Alex Highsmith, you get the game ball. Okay, and Chris Boswell, you get a game ball too.